He walks to the beat of his own night. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fan's hobby, Nightwalker! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front, and we have a nice image of a Nightwalker in both of his modes, up top, Nightwalker on the bottom, Nightwalker on the side, Nightwalker on the other side, Nightwalker on the back, you have your obligatory product shots of more Nightwalker, collect them all, oh, collect all of them, collect them all, gotta catch them all, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with another image there of Nightwalker. And on the back, you have the alt mode, you have the tech specs. If that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Nightwalker. And this is Fans Hobby's take on Night Beats. And as you can see, it is a recolor of their Minerva, just like the original figure was a recolor of Minerva. But yeah, here he is in his alt mode. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice yellow right up front here. Got some dark gray in there. You got some orange. You also have the nice transparent headlights for the silver detailing behind it. Some nice silver rims. So nice, very dark, transparent plastic there for the windshields and windows. We've got the nice flamey, flamey goodness going down the sides there. A little bit of yellow going across the bottom. Some more wheels. Got a bit of that. Got some gunmetal gray going on there. And the taillights done in a transparent red plastic. But yes, there is the top. There is the bottom. You do have rubber tires. It does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here it is with Fans Hobbies Minerva. And vehicle mode wise, the exact same. The only difference is just in the coloration. And the light bar. We're going to leave Windblade out of this because it's all the same thing, just different colors, but here he is with G1 Nightbeats because he's precious! Oh, so precious. Now, as far as accessories go, um, I don't know if this counts as accessories, but you get a uh, sticker sheet. And you do get some extras as well. You get some... Uh, some license plate stickers, which I choose not to use. Don't really care for the license plate stickers, but if you want to use them, they're there. Hey, go nuts. But yeah, you get some stickers, and they go mostly on the interior here of the car. And of course, you get the Headmaster. Here we have little muzzle. We're getting close here, so we can take a look at muzzle. You can see, got some nice yellow, some nice... Metallic paint there for the visor. Hey, just a little guy. Little black boots going on there. And of course the upside down face. <laughs> on his back, baseball hair syndrome, you know. Yeah, that and... Here he is with Minerva's headmaster. You can see it's the exact same mold. The only difference is just in the coloration. Obviously they have different faces on their back. Otherwise, same thing. And a little bit more I want to splice in about muzzle here. Um, just a comparison with uh, the G1 muzzle. Oh, look at him. He's a little guy with little, short, stumpy legs. <laughs> you can see they got, uh, got the detailing down, you know. Not too bad, but there he is with, uh, with G1 muzzle. And let's go over articulation real quick. The head can rotate, there's a little bit of wiggle waggle, but the head can rotate, arms can do a full 360, move in and out a little bit, uh, under 90 degrees of bend there, um, you got an ab crunch, do a transformation, legs can go forward that far, they can go back, back that far, outward, you only get a little bit, that's it, knees can bend pretty much all the way, do a transformation, and that is it for muzzle! Let's get that. Now you have muzzle with the car, so you can see how that works out. 
scale wise and of course you can open up the car here you can see some of that sticker detailing in there on the sides right there on the console and you can it's easier to just pop this whole thing off and right here you have the uh the helmet piece that just stores right there just like it did on the original don't you don't you fall out you stay you stay because i said so but of course you can just get muzzle here in a sitting position and just like the other versions of this mold it is kind of hard to actually get him sitting in the seat here you have to kind of push things down make some room you gotta clear out some room there we go get him down in the seat put that down and just put the car the top of the car back in make sure there's clearance there get everything tabbed back in he's not in there perfectly there we go Boom. close that up and voila I don't have them in there perfectly, so <laughs> things are not staying totally together. But you get the idea. You can drive the car. Hooray. Woo. Woo. Okay, so. Yes, that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> not that good a spin. But we need to remove the whole roof of the car. What parts for? Shh. remove this put this off to the side we need to remove this uh, helmet piece also put that off the side obviously muzzle has to go as well come here come here and here we'll go off to the side and here we have what is left so to commence with the transformation first thing we're going to do we can just raise this section up a bit here on top the back portion and right in here you can see where his guns store and you just pop these out and just this section right here just plugs into these grooves right in there on either side so remove those and put those off to the side there you go so now we can separate these sections here just pull them back separate that and just pull all that back then you take uh the side view mirrors we'll start with those just bring that in rotate it down and you can see there's a little bit of silver paint on the side view mirrors also nice touch but rotate those in and swing them down and then you're going to just take these whole doors and just untab them swing it down then you're going to flip in the window and flip up this black piece there you go second bus just like the first and let's bring that down flip in the window flip that up and just leave that there for now so now what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of bend this forward like so so we can flip this in then we're going to work on these panels right here so what you do here is you rotate it down then flip it up and then rotate it down again i personally like this little move here so you just rotate it down flip it up and then rotate it down again and everything will line up and tab together Tab together, tab together, you tab together, you tab together, I said. Tab together. There you go, thank you. You have to use the, uh, the ab crunch there, so that just kind of tucks in where it needs to tuck in. And there you go. Once you've done that, you can take these panels and flip them in. There you go. So now we'll work on the legs. So you just untab this whole front section here. Then you come to the side section and all this will pop out like so you kind of take this door and just kind of tuck it in under like so and you want to take this section and bring this out flip this up that'll be his toe you want to get this just kind of as far out as you can get it because you need to just extend this around you can see there's a little bit of a clearance issue but just get that leg out as far as it'll go so you can swing that out so knee piece just bring that up so you have the clearance to straighten the leg out then you bring the rest of the foot down and then this will just swing under come up make a little toesies and there you go then just swing this around that'll clip into place then the door you just want to move it in on that slider and this will just tab in right there 
again, that's a nice, solid connection now, whereas on Minerva, that was loose, and I'm glad they fixed that on the mold. It's fixed on Windblade also, so I like that they fixed that issue on the mold. That tab's in nice and secure. But there you have a leg all done. Guess what? Second verse is just like the first, so. Undo all this. Gonna flip this up, and put the toes out, flip that up, and then just flip all this around. Get up that knee, get all this straightened out, bring down the foot, swing the toesies around, swing that around, and then just slide that door in, bring that up, and tap them into place. And there you have the lower body all done. And now we move on to the upper body. So, what we're going to do here is kind of want to, you want to rotate these back a little bit so you can flip these panels in, rotate, flip back. And then you just want to bring them back to get them out of the way so you can then just take the arms and unfold them and bring them around. Rotate so your elbows are oriented properly. Rotate the hands, and there you go. Same thing, bring that down, rotate, rotate, and there you go. So... Now we need to orient these pieces here. So you just want to rotate them around, bring that up, and then this will swing around. And you can see here how that's gonna look when it's all done, how you want those hinges facing, and all that good stuff. Same thing, just rotate, bring it up, swing that out to the side, like so. And there you go. And we are at the home stretch here. So now, now my logo is the temporary, temporary head there. <laughs> you take this whole roof section and you can bring this up. The section will rotate around. You can take the windshield, fold that in. You can bring this up like that. This will plug into the back. If you want to, uh, you can also kind of leave this down and this will actually sit more flush. Kind of messes with the silhouette a little bit, so I don't personally like it. You know, you can bring that up, but then it kind of makes things stick out a little further. Up to you what you want to do. I personally like to have this flipped all the way down and this up just so it doesn't mess with the silhouette and there's not stuff, you know, behind the head. But as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. But there you go. And now uh, he needs a head. He needs a head. So let me just bring in muzzle here. Just straighten out his arms. So you just want to use a little ab crunch. Hold him in. Bend his legs in. Bend his legs in. And then you take the helmet piece and that will just slide in like so. And then lock it into place. And there you go. There you have. Nightwalker, a.k.a. Nightbeats, in his robot mode. And he looks good. I mean, this is the third time I've bought this mold, but I really like this mold, so I don't mind that I bought this three times already. I think it's a good figure. I think it's a well-done figure, in my personal opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at the chest, at the noggin. That is the noggin. You can see. Nice yellow there. Nice metallic red for the visor. Got a little bit of silver down the chest, silver abs. And you also get some that gunmetal gray right here on the shoulder pieces. And you got some stickers right here on the legs. No sticker details. You can use them if you want to. It's totally up to you. Got some little bits of silver picked out there on the inside of the legs. Little toesies. Over the back. Let's see, you got all this. I mean, that's not the most elegant backpack in the world, but hey, I don't care. I don't care what the back looks like. Oh no, nicely done as far as I am concerned. Now articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can get a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up, look down some. Head can rotate a full 360. You, you stay. Arms can rotate, can do a full 360, can move. 
in and out. If you move these shoulder pads out of the way, you can move outward at this end. You can use the transformation joint also and get some extra range of movement. Totally up to you what you want to do there. You got bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. Again, these shoulder pads are all multiple hinges. You can kind of, you know, you can do what you want with those, really. Uh, as far as the wrists go, uh, the wrists can move upward on this hinge if you need to. You got some karate chop action or something. Can rotate. Uh, the thumb is just on a hinge that moves forward and back like that. And the fingers are all one piece, but you have a joint here and a joint here. So you can do that. Um, you do have the waist joints, which has multiple joints here. You can, just depending on how you work all those joints, you can get some arching, you can get some ab crunch, rotation, you can get some side to side as well. Legs, they can move forward that far, back, that far, outward, that far. You got thigh rotation. Uh, you do have a double jointed knee due to transformation, but due to all the stuff, on the back of the legs there, you only get 90 degrees of bend. And as far as the feet go, um, they can't move up, but the toes can move down. You got some tiltage at the toe. You have some outward movement at the toe. You can also move that heel down, which will bring the toes up a little bit. And that is pretty much it. And of course we can give him his weapons. You can store them on his hips. There are just tabs right there. And you can just tap them on like so if you want to you have those oriented how you want but you can store those on the hips if you wish but of course we can give him his weapons to hold you just unfold the barrel and just kind of get your nail in there and flip down the handle the same with the other one and it's the typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding just dab it in Wrap the fingers around, and tab in, and wrap the fingers around, and that's all you gotta do. Easy peasy, lemon and squeezy for pew pew bang banging, pew pewing and bang banging, and all of that good stuff right there. And you do also have some head options, um, if you don't like the red visor, um, you can just use a sticker right here to make the visor blue. So that's totally up to you what you want to do there. I don't really, I'm not going to use this face anyway, but you know, hey, you have the option and as always options are good. So you can have a blue visor if you want to have a blue visor, but you also get an extra face and here it is. And this is a more G1 toy face right there. And to swap the face, we have to uh, remove the headpiece here and just kind of get in here best you can and try to pop this off. Whoops, there we go, fall on the floor. Come here, come here face. I got it, I got it. But you can just pop the new face on. This is the one I'm gonna be displaying them with, personally. But as always, do what you want. And just line that back on, get everything straightened back out. There you go, now he has this G1 toy face, and I personally like that, and that's how I will be displaying him. But very cool. But again, options, they're good. Hey, I dig it. And of course, the last thing we can do is we can open up the chest to reveal the split strength meter right there. You got some stickers here on either side for detailing if you want to use those. Now the headmaster doesn't affect that in any way whatsoever. That, the headmaster has nothing to do with that gimmick. It's just the, uh, it's the chest panel that's making that work, as you can see. So, you got the cool split strength meter. Everybody needs their split strength. So there you go. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Fans Hobbies Minerva. And we can see uh, the differences here. Obviously different face sculpts. They have different chests. Um, you can see on Night Beats, they added these uh, waist pieces here to fill out his waist. Um, they do have different thighs. Um, Minerva's are more rounded and Night Beats are squared off. So there is a bit of remolding here for the robot mode to make them, you know, make them different. And here he is with G1 Nightbeat because he's precious. He's got some jacked up stickers, but still so precious. 
So there you have Nightwalker, and yeah, I really like this mold. It's a good figure, so I don't mind that I've bought it three times already. You know, it just looks good in robot mode, looks good in vehicle mode. Transformation, you know, it works, it's enjoyable. Overall, just a nice, solid figure. I like the, uh, you know, the, the, the little changes in the mold they made to make it more night BD. So, um, all in all, yeah, I'm very pleased, very pleased with it, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Fans Hobby's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Hobby Night Walker. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face! Um, excuse me, Prime? Prime? Yes, Nightbeat, what is it? Uh, I'm just here to let you know that I'm on the case. What case? Well, it's, it's, it's top secret. Well, how am I supposed to know that you're on it if I don't know what it is? It, it's classified. Well, am I in danger? I'm not at liberty to say. Are any of my team in danger? I, I can't disclose that information right now. Are my pizza bagels in danger? No. No, well, I don't care. Do what you want. He believes in me.